Why, hello there, everybody. My name is Python, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival from Python's World. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I just can't get over just how much support you guys have been showing the series and indeed the channel lately, guys. Like, <laughs> a simple thank you just doesn't seem sufficient enough. But honestly, guys, that's all I can say. You guys, thank you so much for all of the support. Now, in today's episode, guys, what we're going to be doing is making this tent over here. And I've actually already gone ahead and made it in my creative build world. And uh, yeah, what that means is for once, I actually know what I'm doing, which is very, very nice. So... We need to go to sleep. We need to grab ourselves some resources. I've already grabbed myself a whole bunch of wood in that uh, I chopped down another jungle tree. You can see the floating leaves over there. So, yeah, I mean, all we got to do is just sort of get on with it, I guess. So, uh, where's the rest of the stuff? So, I mean, we've got a bunch of food in there. Uh, I need to go ahead and make myself like a whole bunch of fences. Uh, so, let's just do that real quick. Uh, we need a couple fence gates as well. So, jungle fence gates and then jungle fences. Uh, 15. I think that'll actually do as well. So, like I say, let's go to sleep inside whatever the heck is going on here. <laughs> and then, yeah, we're going to get on with this thing. So, here we go, my friends. What we're going to do is we are going to begin with the supports. So, we're going to put down the supports. We're going to put these down rather like this. This central one needs to be five blocks tall. This is going to be a fairly tall tent. And it's going to be a good one as well. So, one, two, three... We're going to go ahead and put the fences three blocks apart. So there is, in fact, a central support as well. And also, we need to go ahead and, uh, like, sort of replace all of this because it's not quite correct, uh, you know, according to the design that I came up with anyway. Uh, so all we're going to do is just place those back in rather like that. And we're just going to go ahead and get back up with this thing. So uh, let's carry on with the support. So we're placing these things in. One, two, three... Four, and then somehow, if I could precision place the fifth one in, yep, there we go, very nice, then that'll be fantastic. Okay, same over here. Uh, four, and do that, and can I do this? Can I do this? Can I do this? Oh, I messed it up. I messed it up, guys. It's like a mini game, isn't it? <laughs> All right, can I do this? Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, I am a genius, guys. I am actually a genius. Bow down to my geniusness. No, I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. Anyways, I need myself a few more fences, and then we'll just about be good. Uh, yep, 12 seems like a good number, and then we can start placing in the jungle wood. So, in addition to doing this tent over here, I'd also like to make some amendments to this one to make it fit better into the surroundings. You know, we've got quite a lot of wood on here, we've got barely any wood on here, uh, but this next design does have a lot of wood on it, so, you know, there's stuff to be done, my friends, there's stuff to be done. So, all we're going to do, very simply, is we're going to make this come up, rather like this, and then we're going to bring this thing across, make it go up a couple blocks, and then somehow, we need to try and get a block on top, like that, there we go, and that's going to be the central tip-top point of this tent, which is absolutely fantastic, so we need to do that. Get rid of this. Sadly, we have to get rid of this bamboo as well. Sorry there, bamboo. I know you're great for the pandas, but you're not great for the building right now. Uh, so there we go. Got to get on top again. Uh, boop and a boop and a boop. And there we go. That's one of the struts done, ladies and gentlemen. All we need to do is bring ourselves back here and basically do the exact same. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, we need to bring this over here. We need to get ourselves another fence in there. Some more fences in there as well. And yeah, all we got to do is just sort of do these struts. It should be pretty simple. Uh, you guys should be able to follow along if you do want to go ahead and make this design yourself. Uh, but anyways, let's just do that. We'll bring this top part up, and then we're going to get back down. Okay, cool. I mean, yeah, I could be maybe using the scaffolding. I mean, that's kind of what it's there for, but I kind of don't trust myself because I feel like I'm just going to wind up killing myself with it or well, something stupid like that. You know how it goes with me. I'm very incapable of staying alive for very long. Although saying that, I have stayed alive for a fair amount of time, you know. I've got to give myself credit sometimes, guys. Sometimes I've got to give myself credit, right? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Anyway, so uh, let's carry on. We're bringing this over this way as well. Uh, we're actually going to need ourselves some more bark. Hmm. Okay, I don't actually have enough. Uh, well, that's totally fine. We could do that pretty simply, I guess. Uh, so here we go. Maybe we make that all into bark. And we sort of bring ourselves across rather like this. Once again, get our top section on. Use this to climb down. And then we come around this side. Do the exact same. And we'll be good to go. There we go. Okay, fantastic. So there we go, my friends. We have the basic design of the tent done. All we need to do is put down all of the wool to make it into, you know, an actual tent. And then we'll be good. Yeah. 
it's gonna be a good time. All right, so here we go. Wool, 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 wool. Lots of wool. Ah, the sheep. They have provided so much wool for me in this series. It's actually kind of bonkers. <laughs> uh, I feel like the sheep have been more valuable to us than diamonds have been. Like, this is actually kind of dumb when you think about it. But anyways, uh, we're looking pretty good. We actually need to get rid of that again. <clears throat> there we go. Let's do that bit there. And then we've got to bring in the roof rather like that. Looking pretty good. And, of course, do the same over here. And then we'll be okay. You see, I kind of like how we haven't actually made ourselves a traditional house yet. I actually kind of like that. It's... It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool that we're playing Minecraft in this slightly different way in that we're not just making houses all the time. Like, to me, that's actually really kind of cool. It's kind of satisfying as well. So, yeah. But anyways, there we go. We've got that all going. And the final thing I want to do, now that we have ourselves an absolute ton of ingots, uh, we should be able to make ourselves a whole bunch of things and we'll be good. Uh, so, we're looking for the lanterns. There they are. And we're going to place down some lanterns. On the outside, and of course on the inside as well, to give a little bit of light. So, here we go. Uh, one there, maybe one over here as well. Boop, and a little bit of boop. Right, now then, let's make sure... Oh, there's no light levels! Oh, I pressed F3 again! God darn it, dude! Uh, well, the good news is, there's no light levels. I mean, we can't see it anyway, so we're not, like, cheating on that front. I've got to stop pressing F3. Like, honestly, eventually, I'm going to figure out that pressing F3 is completely useless, and therefore, I'm just going to stop doing it, right? But until that happens, sadly, uh, yeah, I am technically breaking the rules, but also I'm not, because I'm not using it to my advantage. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez, man. <sighs> anyway, all is well, my friends. We've actually got the tent done already. I mean, look at it, man. Does that not fit in perfectly with the surroundings? I honestly feel like it does. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. We've even got ourselves some vines to use as well. I mean, they're even going to spread along from the freaking trees. So, I mean, that's pretty awesome, right? Okay, right. Well, anyways, uh, a few more things left to do. Uh, maybe we bone meal the ground a little bit. Maybe... Should we give the cow some bamboo? I don't feel like that would be a very good idea because the more amount of space we have in there, the better things are going to be, right? So I'm actually going to go against my idea of putting down bamboo. And we're just going to go ahead and try to sort of bone meal the ground. Maybe get some flowers in here because that'd be kind of cool. I mean, I don't really know why I'm giving them grass. They don't, like, eat it. So, yeah. It's kind of pointless to be doing this, huh? There we go. And maybe a little bit back here. And, uh, yeah. Seems pretty good, right? I'm just trying to make sure we don't have any double tall grass because we don't need double tall grass. There we go. Yeah, nice little bit of uh, grass for the cowsies. Right, now all we need to do is we need to head in here, grab ourselves some wheat. There we go. The more wheat we get, the better. And then we need to go lose some cows in there because, like I say, it's going to be a cow tent and, you know, it's going to be our source of food and leather. It's going to be a great time. All right, cool. So, uh, let's pack up our inventory. Let's tidy things away. And, guys, we're going to go on a little bit of a cow hunt. All righty, guys. I've been searching around for cows for a fair while now with uh, no success so far. But I'll tell you what I have found on my travels is this. I'm not entirely sure if I've already explored it yet. But there is indeed a jungle temple right here. Uh, oh, okay. So, the entrance is up there. Ah, uh, you see, I'm already thinking this is one we haven't explored because, look, I think the front entrance is actually barred off. So, let's pop in here and hopefully there's no creepers around because, yep, that would be very bad. And, yeah, just judging by the fact there's no torches here, yes, I have not explored this one just yet. So, uh, I'm going to put that down right there. Uh, one... Wait, hang on a minute. Hang on, I think I messed this up. Did that do it? Did that do it? Oh, it did. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. Well, anyways, yeah, let's get down here. Let's see what we got. Uh, some bones, some rotten flesh. You know what? I'll take it. And of course, as per before, we got ourselves some free redstone components. I mean, I'm never, ever going to pass these up. You know what I'm saying? Especially the repeaters and the pistons because they're just pretty cool. And they're moderately expensive depending on how you look at it. But anyways. Whoop! Ah! Oh, not today, sir. Not today. All right. Boop. Open this up, and... Oh, wow, there's one arrow. <laughs> wow, last of the big spenders, huh? All right, well, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and... Wait, is this going to break it? Uh, okay. Yup, oh, nope, that... Yep, okay. Oh, right, that's great. Well, anyways, let's uh, pick up this redstone. We'll go ahead and uh, pick up the rest of this stuff, and I guess we'll be good to go. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Okay, and, of course, got to break this open. Boop. 
There we go. Lots of arrows for the python ale. Always good for the old crossbow. And what have we got in here? Some bamboo, some emeralds, some iron, and a saddle. Okay. Cool. I mean, that's kind of cool. I mean, I'm not going to complain about that. Oh, one more bit of redstone. Every bit of redstone is sacred. Oh, yes, it is. All right, so let's get out of here. Yeah, look at that. It's completely barred off, isn't it? Huh. Interesting. All right, well, anyways, uh, is it becoming nighttime? I think it might be, you know. Uh, I think I saw the sun going down. Uh, yeah, it is. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Right, well, you can actually see the savannah biome way over there. We haven't actually explored that yet, but we'll do that in a different episode because this is a building episode for the most part. And, well, for now, it's turned into a hunting for cows episode as well because apparently they're very, very scarce around here. Ugh, I'm not entirely sure where they are. Oh, man. They've got to be somewhere, right? Ugh. Well, um, I'm starting to run out of food as well, which is kind of bad. So, I mean, I could make myself a couple bits of bread. We'll have two bits of wheat left over to actually breed the cows. Eh, I mean, yeah, I guess we could just do that. All right, well, I don't particularly want to die of starvation. So, you know, anything I could do to prevent that is something I'm going to do. So, yes. All right, well, let's pick this thing back up. Let's, uh, let's eat up and let's carry on our hunt for cows. Aha! Ah, here's a little pack of cows. Hello. Right, let's go ahead and grab these guys. All right, we've got four of them. That's a pretty healthy start to a little uh, to a little clan. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, now then. Uh, so we've got the savannah over there. The jungle's right here. I mean, to be honest, as long as we stick to the jungle, we should be able to find our way back. As soon as we find the bamboo forest. I could already see a tiny bit of bamboo ahead of us. Hmm. Okay. Right, I mean, all we gotta do is lure these guys along. Why is there a zombie? I don't understand. I do not understand, sir. There are zombies just casually roaming in the daylight, just burning to death. I mean, why not, right? I mean, each to their own. If you wanna die by sunlight, then that's totally fine. You know, if you wanna be branded as a vampire. I mean, I'm sure everybody loves vampires, right? <laughs> Oh, jeez, man. Right, come on, Cowsy. Can you, like, be interested in me, please? I mean, do you not see what I've got in my hand here? Come on, man. Come on. It's we. It's your favorite. It is. Come on. We're going to get you back to base, and you're going to live in a tent for the rest of your life. And it's going to be a very luxurious tent with grass and all sorts of epic stuff. Yes, it is. So, if you were to just follow me, then we could have ourselves a, a rocking good time, right? Come on. Let's get back to base. Alrighty, guys, so here we go. All four cows are just about with us. Oh, come on, don't hit the cows accidentally. Oh, my word. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, one thing I figured out about the bamboo jungle. It's quite difficult to get mobs through because, sadly, their AI is quite dumb to the point where they can't quite figure out yet that uh, they can walk around the bamboo and just sort of follow you, right? So, yeah. Maybe that's a bit of a bug that needs to be fixed. Uh, apparently, this guy can't figure out that you need to walk around the cocoa beans as well. Come on, buddy. We're nearly there. Don't mess me around now, budski. Come on. We're nearly there. Why is this guy stuck? Like, what is... <laughs> Come on, man. You're nearly here. Hey, there's even a sheep. You want to have a resident sheep? Well, here you go. You can have one. You can have one. Come on. In he come. All the, okay, so that sheep just went up on the roof. Um, that's cool, I guess. Uh, right, so we need to get you in. Go on. And then we've got one final one. Come on, and there we go. Hey, right, breed. Do do the breedy breed. Okay, and the sheep just decided to leave. Okay, well, that's great. Well, you probably did yourself a favor there, buddy. You'd probably be like the third wheel on a party. You know, the odd one out, as it were. I don't know. But anyways, guys, there we go. Look at it. We got ourselves a nice little cow tent now, and everything is looking good. Oh, yeah. Let's get a little screeny of that, my friends, because it's looking good. And, uh, yeah, guys, like I say, the final thing I want to do is I'd really like to go ahead and amend this tent just a little bit. So, uh, I think once again what I need to do is organize my inventory, because as you can see, it is completely jacked. Oh, my gosh. Just way too much stuff. Way too much stuff. And I think we're even going to wind up filling that one up as well. Oh, my gosh. Well, yeah, that's just kind of what happens as you go along, right? You just start to, you know, gather a whole bunch of stuff up that you don't really need. Oh, my word. So much stuff. So much stuff. Oh, my gosh. I even put down a little hidden chest down in the corner there to put even more stuff down. That's just what you do. It's just what you do, guys. When you've got as much stuff as I do, you just start putting stuff anywhere and everywhere. 
There we go. All right, so that's that all filled up. Right, now then. Where's all of my wool? Did I just put that in the corner chest? Yes, I did. Okay, so we need the wool. We need the wood. Uh, we've got to sell some more jungle logs, which we're going to convert into normal ones. Well, they're not normal ones. You know what I mean. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we are going to try and get on top of this thing. Maybe like this. There we go. And all we're going to do is we're actually going to bring this up to like four blocks tall. And we're going to do the same in all four corners. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to make the wood all sort of meet up in the top point there. So, yeah. Should be a pretty simple thing to do, honestly. So, let's just go over to this corner, do the exact same, two, three, four, and then we're going to need to do a little bit of this. Uh, oh, we could just do it on top of that. There we go. So, we're going to bring that up two blocks. Okay, two blocks. Okay, same with all of the other corners here. So, there we go. Two blocks rather like that, and then once again, two blocks in the corner. Uh, oh, this one. Uh, in fact, if I'm smart. Ah, oh, no, that didn't work, did it? <laughs> I thought I was going to be able to, like, place it against the thing. But what this means is I need to actually go back down and get rid of that piece of wool. Because otherwise, my OCD is going to go absolutely insane. So, there we go. Get rid of that. There we go. Fantastic. All right. Let's get back out. And let's get back up on top. If we can, that is. Yep, there we go. And we can carry this thing on. So, uh, we're going to bring ourselves up here. Bring ourselves in some more wood. Rather like this. I know that using shears is the easiest way of doing this, but uh, I don't have any. Uh, they ran out when I picked up a whole bunch of leaves. Or a future build that we're going to be doing. But yeah, anyways, we'll continue on. Okay, and then this one here, we'll just put like a, a piece of wood on top as well. Rather like that. Okay, cool. So we're actually going to bring this up a block. We're going to bring this up a block. And we're going to drop down. We're going to get rid of this bit here. And look at that. We've basically opened up the tent a little bit more, which I think looks pretty cool. Right? What do you guys think? Looks pretty cool. I mean, let's just do the same for all the other sides real quick. Just so they're all done and we don't have to climb back on top. And then, yeah, we'll be good to go. All right, let's drop down here. Break this off. Uh, break this off as well, if I can. There we go. Uh, I don't even know where that bit went, but anyways, we're looking good, and we'll break this bit off as well, and there we go, my friends, like I said, we've basically just opened up the tent, we've got one panda who's still roaming around, rolling around like a noob, uh, apparently these guys are the lazy pandas, apparently the playful ones do like flips, or something like that, so it'd be kind of cool to try and see if we can get one of those, but I don't know. But yeah, look at that. This guy has got like a sort of a sort of neutral face. This guy's got a visible happy face. Like if he turns around, we'll be able to see his face, right? Come on, buddy. Turn yourself around. I want to see your happy face, man. I want to see your happy face. Oh, and he turned around. <sighs> well, okay. You want to play like that? It's totally fine. All right. Well, anyways, guys, I think we're just about done for today's episode. We've done a decent amount of stuff. Got ourselves a new tent going here. Looking very, very nice. Got a cow farm at long last. Everything's looking good. So, guys, let's jump into the common question of the video and end off the episode. The X Gamer 65 says, Python, in which episode will you be ending this series? I am not saying that because I don't like it. I'm just saying that if you start a new series, you should make a high mountain village. Love you, bit. Wow, we're only eight episodes into the series and people are already asking when the series is going to end. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, this is, in air quotes, an endless let's play. There's always going to be seasons, right? I mean, I didn't actually originally intend on there being seasons for the series, but I kind of figured that episode 100, I was kind of feeling a little bit of a burnout coming on, and I felt like maybe starting in a new part of the world would reinvigorate my passion for this game, and well, as you guys can tell with the daily episodes, that has very much been the case. I have got a lot of passion for this game again. I've got a lot of creative juices flowing around the system, and as a result, I'm feeling pretty good, but I don't know. I don't really know. I mean... I'm not actually intending on all seasons lasting the same length. It rather depends on how I'm feeling at the time. So maybe this season will last 100 episodes. Maybe it will go on for 150. Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, like I say, I've said it all throughout the series. Like, nothing is off limits. If you guys are going to suggest things, I'm going to probably get round to them at some point in the series, right? So yeah. 
you know, like I say, nothing is off limits. Everything is looking good. And, you know, the, the future is looking bright. It really, really is. So, guys, on that note, it is going to be time to end this episode here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, a like rating, as always, would be the best way of letting me know if you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button. Ding that bell as well if you guys don't want to miss out on future content. But, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today. Look at it. Our campsite is expanding one tent at a time. It's looking fantastic. I can't wait to have this uh, little place finished so we can move on to something else. You know, the, the jungle tree settlement, that is. Uh, so, yeah. Guys, like I say, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, as always. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. <laughs>